Welcome back to Always on Learning. I'm Geeta, Maths teacher here. Today in this video, we are going to speak about factors and the examples of factors. I have eight apples with me. I would like to arrange them equally in the basket, such a way that all are equally number. So we will see how do I arrange all these apples. Now I take 8 baskets. I start placing one apple in each basket where all 8 are having one apple in it. So I can write it as 1 into 8 equal to 8. Why do I write 1 into 8? Because I have placed one apple in one basket. So I can write it as 1 into 8 equal to 8. So next, I take 4 baskets. I place 2 apples in each basket where all 4 baskets have equal in number. So I can write it as 2 into 4 equal to 8. So next comes, I take 2 baskets and I place 4 apples in it. So I can write it as 4 into 2 is equal to 8. Next comes only one basket where I pour all the apples in it and I can write it as 8 into 1 equal to 8. So all the 8 apples are arranged equally in the baskets in 4 different ways like 1 into 8, 2 into 4, 4 into 2, 8 into 1. With this example, we understand eight can be formed by multiplying one and eight, two and four, four and two, eight and one. So all these numbers are called factors of eight. Then what is factor? Factors are nothing but numbers which are multiplied with another number to obtain product. So let us try with one example. The number is 18. The factors are 1 into 18. Why do I start with 1? Because 1 is the factor for all the numbers. So I start with 1. 1 into 18. Then 2 into 9. 3 into 6. 6 into 3. 9 into 2, 18 into 1. I stop writing factors for 18 with the number itself. So I start with 1 and I end with the number itself. It is 18. So what are the factors of 18? 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. All these are factors of 18. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much.